Haley Pershing, and this is my personal persona project. To start with, I go to Full Sail University. I'm 26 years old. I've been a musician for over 15 years, and I am a mother of two boys. They say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Thanks to John Lennon, this iconic saying has touched millions, and perhaps one of the biggest reasons I discovered at an early age, I have an undying determination to see my dreams through. Determination at an early age to most people just seems like a fancy way of saying you have a lot of free time and energy. However, in my case, I felt my belief of what I wanted to be and do with my life was something that I was very serious and dedicated about and would never give up on. I found myself divulging into music at a very early age, falling into every aspect of it and listening to it on every medium form possible, from a CD player to a cassette tape. I just found myself overly intrigued by the creativity that spawned when listening to music, falling into the artist's world, and developing their feelings, which is just no better feeling to me in the world. I found over time I was listening to music on several different devices, hearing all different types of styles to where I was admiring the limelight from afar. One performance actually still sticks in my mind, and it's the origin of my professional persona. It's a 1990s performance of Jewel playing her acoustic setting of You Were Meant For Me. I just fell into the song all together and I remember being a little girl sitting in the bathroom hearing that faintly but distinctively and thinking I bet I could do that if I tried. I already had a mindset that if someone else could do something I could too and I'd already loved to sing it at an early age so I thought I could at least try my hand at it. I was only 11 at the time and my birthday was quickly approaching and my mom asked if I had any birthday gifts in mind and without even a second thought I said a guitar. Learning guitar was a slow progression, and it I was very unsure of myself. It took quite a long time to master, and most of my beginning practices were normally just watching other people play and taking what I learned from them. And although this was an excellent experience for me, getting to learn the band aspects and getting to sing with various musicians and uh, different types of artists, I found myself still quite jealous that I couldn't do both singing and playing. Although it was a great opportunity for me to discover my voice and working with other composers and seeing different points of views gave me my very own voice to find. But I finally found that I was pretty upset that I couldn't tackle singing and playing. And so one day I just decided to devote one full lesson of about 17 hours of learning to play and sing. And it was my biggest long session ever, but in the end it was well worth it because of the quick progression I made and all the failed attempts finally clicked. And this is where I moved on to cover songs and implementing my guitar style, which helped critique the musician I am today. At the end of my junior high and high school years, I wanted to see just how far I could take this dream of mine. And about a year and a half after graduation, I decided to move to Florida and room with my brother, where we became a band and started taking on shows in the Florida area. This was an excellent opportunity to showcase our work as well as add to a skill as a performer because one big thing I learned playing shows is that people will uh, listen to something just as much as they will see it, if not see it more. And if you can put on an entertaining enough show and act laid back enough with your crowd, you will acquire a large fan base. Um, and connect with uh, a personable level with your fans to reassure your audience that it's about having fun. There's no need for nervousness or hate here. And although at the time when I was living there, the paying gigs were at a pretty all-time low, the low funds and bad timing kind of went together toward my future picture that was coming up on me of an unexpected pregnancy. And once you start going into motherhood, everything kind of else just takes a back seat. So from then I was looking for more stable work and leaning towards something more in the medical profession and something around that field that was lucrative, open, and stable. And I settled on medical transcription. However, with other setbacks in my personal life and being broke and struggling, it made me find new ways to make this dream a reality. Enrolled at Kaplan at the time, I found Current Lifestyle, I just couldn't keep up with their program, and I made a quick transition into Full Sail. Already proficient with the platform because I had a roommate attending as well, Full Sail helped me obtain insight and added tips on the advice of the music industry as a whole and how I want to run and own my own music business in every aspect of it. They also taught me the importance of staying connected and being online is at an all-time important high with the music industry. I found an idea transpiring being in Full Sail where I wanted to create a music industry that was catered for the musicians because a musician knows better than anybody how they want their music to sound. Along with this, I want to give the opportunity of having a performance stage and a bar and grill to the menu because I understand the market right now is so completely saturated with so many new artists that it's really hard to sift through the really serious ones toward the ones that are just out for money. This also is going to allow an opportunity for the audience to see the showcase bands of the uh, so see the showcasing of our best bands of the label, and this will allow for a more personal experience for both the audience and the artist. This business is simply supposed to be a place that breeds creativity. 
and by having all these featured amenities and leisurely lined environment should make everybody feel at ease. Overly driven and determined are my mindset at this point, and my progression in full cell has helped me eliminate and stray away what I want to stay away from as a music industry, industry professional. Um, and I want to cling on to the added tips and advice that I've learned as, toward my professional outlook. Um, although my live aspect as a musician has faltered a bit, the experience of understanding and audio engineering and editing techniques from recording has increased. The knowledge obtained for what I need to know in a studio has heightened, and the point to where I can put him a composer and editor of my own professional tracks. Being involved with other musicians and seeing how the business is evolving and transforming gaily to our, due to our advancement in technology has really helped me transpire bigger and better ideas toward this future business idea. This establishment would be targeted toward music enthusiasts, music lovers, uh, and also musicians who are just looking to expand. This would be a meeting of the best of both worlds, being online and live, to where we would reach a whole new section of the market. I'd say anyone really could be a target for this market, but this is mainly going to affect those who are seeing shows and seeking entertainment. Mainly, I'd say the college portion of the economy or the working class. Anybody that has any kind of just wanting to go see a live show. And I finally would say my competitive advantage is something that is allowed by the labels critiquing. And we want to critique it any way you see fit. If there's something that you don't like, we want to know about it. Just like any business, I plan to shape toward my consumer's need. I want to know if there's something someone doesn't like. They don't like the color of the walls or a show ran a little too long. Could we make it sound more like this, etc. I really want to take from the request of my clients and consumers and put that back into my establishment. I think by everyone taking a part in helping to create what they want from the service will be our ultimate advantage in the end and will also help us be easily identified and easily remember who we are. Next, I would say overall, the creative aspects of the business will be a big advantage toward us. This will be a very unique music establishment. It will offer everything from stage to music lessons to skate band apparel shops, game rooms, overly leisurely lined environment of original cook style house and house restaurant food and a fully stocked and staffed bar. This, of course, will all be added over time, and these progressive add-ons will give something, give something for the people to keep talking about every time they come back, thereby creating buzz about the business. This also goes for the online community as well, as this will be a major communication tool for our business. My final competitive advantage, I would say, would be expressed through my brand mantra, musician, mother, multitasker, belief will always drive you, and that's pretty much what it is. It's about just believing in this business happening, believing in gaining recognition toward your skill, believing, you know, that you can you can take on the world pretty much, and that's what my mission is for the uh, artist of tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping for, uh, to help transpire a very dedicated musician's um, career further. All right. Thank you very much, and I hope you all enjoyed.